Four years before that, I was constantly out evangelizing 3D, trying to get uh, uh, theater exhibitor, exhibitor chains to acknowledge 3D and to put in the digital theaters and so on, and this was a big uphill fight. Nobody wanted to do it because there wasn't enough content, but then, then they, they realized by a pattern of seeing a few stereoscopic releases that they were actually highly profitable and generally performed at about double the revenue of, of, the, uh, of the 2D screens. So that's all happening now. That's all mature. And, and of course, the IMAX Corporation has, has had a, uh, a stake in the ground in the 3D space for a long time. So they're now benefiting. And we're seeing, um, uh, with Avatar, I think we're seeing something very interesting, which is people have been absorbing their media on smaller and smaller devices and watching movies on iPhones. And frankly, I don't make movies to be watched on iPhones. And I think that people have over time more and more been sacrificing the theatrical cinematic experience for the immediacy, the access, the ability to parallel process, do other things, multitask, all that. And what happened on Avatar was everybody just called time out and said, no, this is about absolutely paying attention, not thinking about other things, not texting, not watching on a little screen, but making, having the movie draw you in and overwhelm you with its experience in the 3D. Uh, has helped with that. So I see, I see a, 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 a future uh, which has already already begun, in which 3D is coming at us in many different ways, in many different forms, many different formats. And uh, right now there are many, many, many myths out there, and a lot of misinformation, and a lot of practitioners. They're a little dubious and, and don't have too much experience. I think it can it can certainly hurt cinema if people rush out try to capitalize on, on uh, what's been happening recently with the success of 3D films, and especially Avatar, which has sort of created a lot of heat in the studio system. And uh, there will be, uh, be abuses of the process, and then eventually it'll all, you know, it'll all uh, find its, its natural level over the next couple of years, and it'll be a steep, a steep learning curve. So the thing that I said when I first started going out evangelizing on this, um, Seven years ago was I would talk to studio people, I'd talk to exhibitors, I'd talk to all the different uh, uh, pr practitioners and say, what is your 3D strategy? And they would look at me, and they, 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 like a deer in the headlights, they, they, or, or, or dismissively, they, they didn't have a 3D strategy, and I knew they didn't, which is why I asked the question. And I was basically sort of ignored quite a bit, but there were people quietly working and making things happen, and it's, it's gotten to the point where now, 3D is a legitimate part of cinema. It's being accepted by filmmakers as a legitimate style of cinema. The exhibition community is very, very happy with the choice to have moved in that direction. But now we've got to start thinking about, uh, you know, the the networks, the broadcast entities, news gathering, sports, uh, and all the various uh, apps that are going to bring bring 3D to us in all these different forms. And so now there's a whole new group of people that I have to talk to and say. What is your 3D strategy?